I want to tell you about Caspar, Prince of Cats. It's a story of, um, it is a story of a cat, but the cat isn't the centre of the story. It's the people who are around the cat, who have their lives around the cat. And really what happens is this, there's a young lad living in London and we're talking about the beginning of the 20th century. Now Johnny Trott is a Londoner, Cockney lad, and he's off the streets. Uh, the first time in his life he's doing a decent job. He's what, maybe 14 or 15. And he finds himself working as a bellboy at the Savoy Hotel, which is this very, very grand, plush hotel where very rich and very famous people came to live. And his job was to meet them at the door, carry their luggage, say hello, take a tip, touch his forelock, clean their shoes, doing all those sort of things. One day to the hotel comes this Russian lady um, with a cat in a basket, a rather extraordinary cat, a very handsome, black, Russian-looking cat. And she is an and he gets to carry the cat and her luggage up to her room. And because she's away rehearsing at Covent Garden, which is just down the road from the Savoy Hotel, she asks him to go and look after the cat, feed the cat while she's away, which he does. And the relationship builds up, a friendship between this little cat, Caspar, and Johnny Trot. And because of this, because this lady loves anyone who loves her cat, as very often people do, she befriends the boy and takes him to the opera and becomes almost like a a lovely aunt to him in many, many ways. And then sadly, sadly, uh, she crosses the road, strand in London one day, and is run over by what they used to call an omnibus, that is a bus these days. And Casper is left in the hotel with no one to look after him, except Johnny Trot. And it's what happens then, when an American family come, and the little girl in the American family discover that Johnny Trot is doing something he isn't allowed to do, which is to keep a cat in his rooms. And it's the story of these two, Johnny Trot and this little girl and the cat and how they look after the cat and then, later on, when the girl and her family are about to sail back to America, she persuades him to come with them. But the trouble is that the ship is called the Titanic and you may know already that the Titanic sank out in the Atlantic. It's the most, one of the most terrible sea disasters has ever been hit, and, hit a, an iceberg in the middle of the night and I think what 1400 people were drowned but I think what isn't known is there was a cat on board called Caspar. That's all I'm telling you. Go away.